wake up and see yourself. Now, three words. Look, when you look, you must wash together. Can you connect to your, your eye to your mind? Wash. You got meditation. Wash and see clearly what you wash and see clearly the one who wash. You got me Pasana. Okay? I always see clearly all of you and I can see clearly how I give talk and how I feeling and how my mind is. So we wake up and develop more seeing clearly, deeper, much deeper in your mind. In your mind you cannot see by eye and you cannot focus and you cannot look. Okay? But when you you open eye and not blur, just open eye, your eye got a job. That is, when you open eye, you got a job, look that, look this, but your mind not watch. Okay? Uh, your mind don't have meditation. When your eye look, your mind watch. Now, you open your eye the whole day or not? I can tell you. All of you got, got, uh, we call jhana and jhana. You know jhana? Jhana is meditative state. Very high meditative state. Jhana is wisdom. Okay? Jhana is, let's say, all of you got, got meditation. Uh, uh, excellent meditation. Good meditation. But you lost your meditation because you lost your eye contact and you lost your ear contact. You want your meditation come back? Just keep conscious on your eye contact. Contact. Look and watch. Watch and see. Listen and hear. Okay? When you got eye contact, ear contact come back, your jhana and yana will come, come back. Okay? Let's say, just speak simple, simple way. Now, you know, we got uh, six sensory dog. Okay? Uh, uh, eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and six sense in your mind. Okay? But you lost your six sense because you lost five sensory door. Okay? Everybody got six and I can see babies cannot speak English, cannot speak Thai, but one year only baby can speak English. Okay? Very well, but you are come from Thailand. You take maybe 20 years to be able to speak English very well, but baby just got six cents. Okay, can speak English very well in one or two years only, if born in Australia, okay? And you know when uh, the smiling of children, you can realize they got more conscious from inside to learn, okay? But when you getting more, go, going more, going, uh, growing older, growing older, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, what happened? You got desire to eat, desire to do things. Children, they, they, a bit desire already. They already very innocent. They do with innocent. But when grow, growing more older, much older, older, it innocent gone, it become desire. Then your capacity, efficiency of your mind brighten. Okay?
Okay, that is what you got from from your previous life. You got jhana, you got jhana disappear. But I just tell you, you just bring jhana, jhana, or all the six s e n s come to your mind by just develop seeing clearly, hearing clearly. Okay, now seeing clearly, hearing clearly. Your meditative state come up, your insight come up, your jhana come up, your jhana come up. Let's say one word, six s e n s Okay. Everybody got six s e n s Connect to God. Connect to the Buddha by birth. But when you growing more and more, getting older, older, you forgot Buddha, forgot God. <laughs> Because you eat apple, Adam and Eve eat apple, forgot God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, because you got desire, you eat apple and delicious, then your six s e n s e disappear. <laughs> your mind will r e l a Okay. So just bring back uh, your consciousness over your eye, consciousness over your ear, consciousness over your touching by body touch, bodily touching, consciousness on your smelling, consciousness on your eating. Without desire or attachment, consciousness, knowing what you're doing, knowing what you're eating, and uh, just let go all desire. Okay, eat apple and no desire. You not lost your six s e n s Okay. So now, I will bring your eye conscious wake up by bring you to Switzerland and ski together. <laughs> When we go ski, your eye very shining, very conscious. See far and near. Not only here and here, far and near, ready to jump. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Can you see from this side to this side? Far and near. Now, even you not ski, more and more consciousness or the sixth sense in your mind wake up. Meditative state come up. And far and near, from this side to this side, and also from in front to behind. How to see behind? Can you move your hand to to raise your 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 hand? Can you see the feeling feeling when you raise your hand? Can you see how you raise your hand? Can you see? Can you see? Now you raise your hand. How about you sit here? You got sky. Over you are not. Can you see from here to here and up to the sky? Okay. And that, that is your higher consciousness. We call six s e n s Because when you can see far and near, left and right, in front and. Behind, can you see feeling on your back? Can can you see the whole sensation on your body, from in front and the back, and the whole? And can you see consciousness around you? Can you see nature around you? Can you see sky? Even you not look at the sky, you look at me. Can you see sky? Okay. You got already six s e n s Higher consciousness, it become I. Seeing who is this person, sitting, walking, eating. So when you eating, j 
just wake up. See how you eating, how you feeling. See everything about your body and mind from consciousness as big as sky. Okay. You know this is shortcut we call crossover. <coughs> crossover to uh, beyond this world and can see this world. This world only. This world that means your body, only four element. When you go beyond this world, can you you can see this person as as it is, as they are. That is four element. When you fall in from the, from the sky, you fall in from the heaven and eat apple, eat apple, desire, then. You lose consciousness. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So, my is pure consciousness. Pure consciousness is pure my. Pure my is consciousness. But this is conditioning my. You lost already. Okay. When you you lost in thought, very heavy. When you come back to your pure mind or consciousness, very light, okay? And we call awareness, full awareness. Can you see? You are now sitting and don't do any job. Only breathing in and breathing out. Can you see from consciousness? See this body sitting, relaxed and breathing and then you can learn how how human being survive survive by breathing in breathing out okay and when you can see uh, breathing of this body not you are breathing. Before you try to practice meditation, you do, you do trying to breathing in, trying to breathing out, you lose consciousness. You come to your head, come to your brain and think and got a lot of thought. So open your eye and open your mind as big as God. Okay? All in the knowing. Now open your eye. This session, we need to develop more mindfulness. More mindfulness will be developed more by opening eye. Okay? But calmness and more power of meditation is good for crossing eye. But before you do uh, Calmness meditation by closing eye, you wake up first. Otherwise, you fall asleep when you close your eye. Okay. <laughs> so this session, I will wake up your consciousness. Can you feel your body consciousness? Like you are skiing. Now there are six consciousness. I will wake up three consciousness. Now look at me. But be mindful, conscious over the whole body, relax. Then you can see yourself by consciousness, even you not go skiing. Can you relax the whole body? Relax. Then you can see the muscle movement, the body movement. That's right. This is body consciousness. Now wake up, eye consciousness. Can you see? Even you watch me, this is your mind, but how about consciousness? Consciousness that is open, seeing from here to here, far and near, can you? Okay? Smile! You can see from here to here, far and near. And then, wake up your mind consciousness, how? Selfie yourself. Mm. You, your mind, I know, you 
Before maybe 10 years ago, people don't know selfie. <laughs> but now, your mind knows selfie. When you selfie yourself, your mind wake up. Are you selfie yourself and sleeping? No, you selfie yourself, but not selfie your face. Selfie into your mind. Loving kindness. Gladness. Anyhow, selfie your face. When your face smile, your mind smile. Okay? Can you selfie yourself? So this session, because it's after lunch, okay? Maybe sky not enough. <laughs> not enough. This is after lunch. Sky and selfie yourself. Okay? Selfie, that is smile to yourself. Smile to your body. Can you open eye? Can you smile? Selfie, smile to your body. Selfie and smile to your body. And smile to your sensation. And smile to your mind. And smile to your heart from consciousness. Smile, more smile from outside and inside together. Can you smile from outside and inside together? And close your eyes, you will not fall asleep. Smile, you can see yourself clearly. Smile, you can see you are smiling heart and smiling face. Smile, you can see your sensation, nice sensation. Smile, you can see your mind, less thought, less thought and calmness. Smile, you can see nice feeling, no desire, no anger. Can you just smile to yourself because you always nervous, disturbed, you working too much, use your body too much, use your brain too much, use your thought too much. Now is only give smile to yourself to charge battery to yourself. When you smile to yourself, you can see yourself. When you smile to yourself, the body. Just smile to your body, you can see your body. Smile to your body, you see your body, then you can see your body got sensation. Smile to yourself from your body, you can see your body sensation and your, your body got your mind inside. Then you can see your mind inside with more calmness and less thought because when you smile, Smile to your cell, your body, your sensation, your mind, and deep into your heart. Smile to your heart. Then your heart wake up and emptiness, no desire, no attachment at all. And your heart wake up, become Pure consciousness, God smile in, inside. You starting by selfie and smile until you got smile or gladness in your heart. With gladness and smile in your heart, you got bliss in your heart. Just now wake up outside and inside with smile and gladness. Smile and gladness. Then you got more awareness wake up. Smile and gladness. Smile and gladness together. You got wake up more and more. And smile with quietness. With quietness, no judgment. No thought. And keep your body straight up. Smile to your body. Up rising, up rising, then 
your heart open. When you smile to your body with a blessing body, your heart open. Then smile into your heart. You got seeing, conditioning in your heart arising. You got condition arising in your heart. Can you see? Because you got k i l e s a defilement or residue in your heart. Even you smile to your heart deeply. Your heart's not 100% pure. Your heart got a, a residue of desire attachment. Smile until you got eye in your heart. I in your heart, seeing your heart, seeing what, seeing condition arising in your heart, seeing uh, suffering from attachment in your heart, attachment from desire, desire from satisfaction and satisfaction. Smile deep into your heart until you got sing into your heart. Deep into your heart, how with trust in the Buddha. Now just open your eye. When you smile or selfie outside, until you got smile and selfie inside. That is, you got eye inside, seeing uh, mental state. What you see, mental state. First, you don't understand. It sometimes heavy, but you don't understand. It sometimes feel disturbed. You not understand. Or if you have five precept doing dana more often, when you smile into your heart, it feel good, gladness. Can you see in your heart God unwholesome and wholesome? That is. Uh, happiness sometimes, gladness sometimes, gladness sometimes, happiness sometimes. Can you see? Because when you smile, you stop thinking. This technique, how te instead of you try to stop thinking, if you try to stop thinking, you don't have awareness and see in your heart. But if you smile and thought go away. And where your mind will start go away, your mind come here, and your mind come here become seeing your heart. Okay, now you got mind seeing, seeing your heart, because you smile, smile, your mind come here, and your mind see something in your heart. Even you smile, but something holding you, because you attach something. Now smile and learn inside what you got. Why I not have really deep smile? I try to have really deep smile, but it difficult. Anyhow, you can smile. Anyhow, you can see both uh, goodness and bad, wholesome and unwholesome. That is seeing more and more. You can understand that is unwholesome from attachment. Oh. Your hand left. Your heart never left. Sometimes you help people, give money to your friend. Uh, one month already, but your heart, your heart want your money back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Or uh, even this morning you give me offering. When you go back home, wow, I need money. <laughs> <laughs> your hand left, your heart not left. You understand? Wow! Always like that. Anyhow, I put in my bank account. Then don't worry. <laughs> you see, your hand left, your heart never left. You say, okay, you take it. But bye, bye, bye. Okay? Can you see this? We call attachment. Okay. <laughs> If you can see attachment, then you can see why you got attachment. You got 
Sell. This is mine, not your. Ah, you got sellness. Okay? You see attachment, you see sellness. And then you see sellness come from desire. Oh, you got desire or expectation. Expectation. And more you got desire, you got more attachment, and you feel burden. Burden that is suffering. Okay? Suffering. Okay? So, now, if I tell you, smile and feel your breathing. Your, your, your body need food. Your heart need breathing nicely. Can you feel your breathing from your heart or your spirit and soul need breathing nicely? Just feel breathing nicely into your heart or spirit and soul now. Can you feel? All burden go away. You feel light, very light inside. You feel gladness inside. You feel gladness and bliss inside. More you feel with your breathing from your heart. Okay? You eat three meals, but how, how many times you come back awareness of your breathing? How many times in a day? Zero. <laughs> you breathing every moment, but you never come back to know your breathing. So that's why the Buddha said, before enlightenment, the Buddha just awareness of breathing as home. Whenever the Buddha awareness of breathing as home, the body, body not disturbed, the mind not disturbed. That's why way of enlightenment, you just feed your heart with awareness of breathing. Because otherwise you are, your heart will, will feed himself with desire. Okay? Feed your heart with breathing. When you got desire, anger, delusion, or doubt, you feed your heart with breathing. Anger gone away. Desire gone away. That's right. So, that I told you, your body needs food. But your heart, your spirit, and so need nice breathing, soft breathing. You can make a lot of money, but don't forget awareness of your breathing nicely. Otherwise, even you got money, you got burden. Okay? But if you awareness of your breathing nicely, even you got more or less money, don't worry because you got calm and peace inside. So you know why you go to practice washing the breathing in, out, washing uh, the rising falling, washing sensation or whatever. Why you know? To bring your mind back or free your mind from thought. But next step, you must bring your mind to your heart. So today, I teach you way of enlightenment. Whatever method, doesn't matter. Now you are you watching me. You got good enough calmness because I'm a mom. If I'm a politician, you watch me, you got disturbed mind, okay? <laughs> Now you watch monk, listen to monk, you got time, this is good or enough. You don't have to watch sensation. You don't have to watch breathing. But you feel it inside, you are breathing inside. Okay? And you feel your breathing inside because your heart, your spirit, and soul need breathing nicely. Okay? What you got? You got Buddha nature, wake up. Why I say you, you got Buddha nature? Because you see Dhamma. What is Dhamma? You see attachment. And you see the cause of attachment from desire. And desire from your, your expectation. Or from your satisfaction or dissatisfaction. If you see this thing, the Buddha says you see Dhamma. 
Dharma I is not here, not here. This is only calmness or one pointedness of mind. Dharma I, after you got this calm, then it's very easy to, to see inside the mental state. But if this still frustration, difficult to see inside. Now I just tell you, uh, watch the candle and watch me, listen to me, more you come to your mind empty or calmness. And then I don't have to say, uh, you, just teach, you just practice calmness for uh, one day, one week, one month, and next month practice vipassana. You can practice together. Okay? When you practice calmness meditation, just selfie. Selfie yourself, your body, then you got eye seeing, eye from consciousness seeing. Selfie your body to your heart. Can you? You got Dhamma eye. And selfie more and more, Dhamma eye wake up with exploring. Oh, what else you not see? Exploring, exploring. Oh, I see anger, but by but anger now become less, 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 and this and go away. But why I still unhappy? What else I not see? Oh, I'm selfish. I never have compassion. I'm selfish. Oh, that made me suffering. Okay. <laughs> Exploring what else you see more, then develop more goodness. So uh, you go cross over, see in daily life. You don't have to come to wait until the night time sit meditation, because of course when you close your eye, you nobody uh, do bad for you. Not you not see anything. Okay. You get calmness for sure, but if you get calmness, how about in daily life? Just challenging. When people do something bad, you see it. Can you see inside? You have anger. People speak bad to you. You hear bad word. How you feel? Selfie. Can you look at me and selfie inside? Because now you have new word, selfie. This is perception. Got new perception in this social, social right? Okay. Selfie, selfie. But not selfie your body. Selfie deep into your heart. What, what more you not see? Selfie, selfie. So this is. If we say what method, this is mindfulness contemplation of your mental state. Dhamma Nupasana. Okay? So that's why I always smile. Because when my face smile, my heart smile. When my heart smile, my heart see something that clinging cannot get really nice smile. Okay? And I see why. What that? Now, this session Selfie deep into your heart and feel your breathing together with smile. Do yourself now. When you go deep into your heart, you keep awareness of rising body will be good foundation to see clearly into your heart. Keep your shoulder open, okay? Then when you more selfie deep into your smile, you can explore more and more inside. More selfie, more investigation. I learned this word, investigation into the mind, but I don't know how to investigation. I always use my thought. But I use selfie, it's become investigating into 
the mind inside by itself. Selfie only. Selfie, then see what you see, know what you know, and letting go. And feel your breathing together. Because breathing can calm down all dirtiness, all this disturbance inside, and your heart open, then you can selfie deeply into mental space. More selfie inside you got more awareness and see, more awareness and see. Now your heart can see your heart. With selfie technique, your heart become awareness and see your heart inside. More selfie, you can wake up inside with gladness. And more wake up with gladness, you got bliss in your heart. And more bliss in your heart, you got freedom of mind in your heart. Now you got wake up from inside, deep in your heart wake up. If your heart wake up, your mind wake up. But only your mind wake up doesn't mean your heart wake up, okay? Your heart wake up with seeing, seeing clearly, exploring more and more. Even you see clearly, just selfie, then you can explore more and more. Explore more and more, you got seeing more clearly inside with gladness. More see inside with gladness and bliss inside. Feel your breathing together, then you can selfie deeply. Awareness of your breathing together and selfie. Awareness with feeling your breathing inside. Now just open your eye. How to feel your breathing deep inside? How? Now your eye open. Can you feel your breathing inside? Yes, but not deeply. But if the last, the last minute come, the king of death come, you got serious sickness. What happened? Your brain no function. The coma said your brain no function. Where you might go? 100% come here. And what you know when you might come here? The last breathing. Can you realize the last breathing? Awareness of the last breathing? That very deep, okay? And because you go very deep, you got your karma, good and bad karma. Sometimes more bad karma, you feel disturbed when you 
you are in your coma so you feel worry, worry, disturbed and heavy. But as far as you feel breathing, the last breathing, you can calm down the bad karma. Then your heart got a light, go to the high level. If the last minute you not feel the last breathing, you got bad karma. Then your heart disturbed, the darkness come, you go to the lower level. Okay. So now I, I I don't mind what method you practice, but you must be able to feel your small breathing inside. One day come, the last minute come, your brain not function, your mind got already no idea. And what you know? You know, oh, I got children, oh, I got how, oh, I, I still need to do that, do this. I don't want to die, but you have to die, okay? I don't want to die, but you have to. But you die with worry. So the last minute come, your mind here, feel near to your heart. What is near to your heart? Breathing. Inside, okay? And then it will wake up. Wake up good karma, okay? I know you are very lazy, not, not practice meditation every day, but you remember my technique before you pass away. Stay here. <laughs> okay? Stay here. And just feel your breathing body. Let go everything outside. Feeling, feeling, feeling. Then what happened? When you feel your breathing, breathing can calm down not only your heart, can calm down on disturbance, all disturbance of your body. Maybe you got recovery, not die, okay? <laughs> I expect, I hope that, okay? Otherwise, your, your family will call me, Ajahn Vimong, help blessing my, 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 my husband now in coma said, help, help me please. I don't want to receive a phone call from Australia. I just stay in Thailand. You phone me. Now you don't have to phone me. You just tell your wife, husband, or whatever, whoever. Feel your breathing. Then you will get recovery soon. Okay? But if you want to get recovery, you not get recovery. You just accept that. Then you got recovery. Okay? Accept that. Okay? <laughs> Because when you accept that you let go of clinking, then the four elements work properly again. Okay? If you not accept that, four elements frustration. Okay? Accept that. And accept that, feel your breathing now. Feel your small breathing and sensation from your good or bad karma. But, uh, but together, feel your breathing. Okay? And your breathing can calm down all, all bad karma. Okay? Now feel your breathing with smile. If you can selfie, remember my technique. Feel your breathing and selfie, selfie. Selfie now. No time. It's only one minute. Okay? Selfie. You don't have to think how to focus the breathing, how to focus the sensation, how to focus what, whatever. Don't have to think. Just smile. Selfie, 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 selfie. Your heart open. Wake up with good karma. Okay? Selfie, selfie with smile. Deep in and close your eyes. I'm ready to die in peace. Now I accept. Everybody got to die. I accept now. And I'm ready. No fear anymore. Then your consciousness, pure mind, wake up. With four elements working properly. Okay? Selfie, selfie. Okay, before finish, you stay there, selfie, selfie. And just contemplate that. Accept. When you accept, just contemplate. This body already burn. And when this body already burn, all sickness gone away. Can you contemplate that? You got sickness because you got this, this body. But if you accept that, 
Close your eyes. Accept that. Then you let go of clinging to this body. And you let go of this body burn on funeral. And when your body burn, no disease, no sickness. It's go away with your body. And then just my become one with the Buddha. Ask for the power of Buddha Dhamma Sangha. I understand and accept uh, death and I let go of clinging. And now all sickness gone. Please, the power of Buddha Dhamma Sangha just form new body born by the power of Buddha Dhamma Sangha. Now just make intention. If you would like the Buddha, uh, just form your new body. Your body now will live on with the power of Buddha Dhamma Sangha. Then you must make commitment with the newly, uh, newly reborn body. I will do goodness. I will keep more and more five precepts, loving kindness, letting go, and I will do the best to practice mindfulness and insight for pureness, to follow the Buddha to enlightenment in this village. Now the time left is only for practice and following the Buddha. Go to end the life and end enlightenment. Just accept me. Let me follow the Buddha. Just your heart become one with the Buddha. Just tell yourself, I, what your name? Just tell your heart. I, Mr. Mrs. or Miss. If I got recovered from all illness and get reborn by the power of Buddha Dhamma Sangha, in this life I will not do any bad thing, I will do only good things. And in this life, because this body reborn by the Buddha Dhamma Sangha, then I will uh, devote myself uh, to, to support the Buddhism uh, to last long 5,000 years as the Buddha said, okay? When you uh, uh, lengthen the Buddha, Buddha, Buddhism life, then it automatically lengthens your life, okay? Now you got your life, newborn, and you got your life lengthened. And then, by you got your, your devotee to lengthen the Buddhism throughout the whole 5,000 years, as more as you can, okay? And I will also uh, follow the Buddha teaching. I will not go out the way. Before, I don't know. Until now, I know one day I must die before I got uh, carelessness, okay? I got no mindfulness, okay? I got no consciousness because I think I am very young. Life is really long, but now I accept life is not long as I think. Uh, I am 40, 50, 60 years old, but now I accept now. Uh, life is not long, and what I should do now is only follow the Buddha, Buddha teaching and practice Buddha teaching in the, in the practice of meditation and insight for pureness, for pureness. Make your intention strong, intention now. Then, now, peace, the Buddha will bring all the four elements, soil element, water element, air element, fire element to to reborn my body. And with two other elements, that is consciousness element and emptiness element. 
Now my body fulfill with the sick element, with good health, no sickness at all. Okay. Now just stay there with smile. Smile will compact all the four six elements together. Smile. Now you feel more confident of your new body, reborn by the Buddha. And just say again, I, what your name, and make commitment. As I told you, just make commitment again to thanks Buddha. You feel more refreshed, you feel more smiling, you feel more freedom, okay? And now, just transfer money to all karma, okay? With forgiveness. Now I know I come for goodness, doing good already. And what I'm doing good now, I will share money to all karma. Okay, to all people, all being. Okay, because we go on the Buddha way. Okay, just right determination. You know, in the noble eightfold path, there are first right view, but you don't have right determination like this. Right determination until right. Resolution, no more. I not do anything bad. I will do good with smile, loving kindness, great compassion, and more goodness. This is your right resolution. Now, if you have right resolution, then you will have right speech, right action, right livelihood, and right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. Now I just teach you how to develop right resolution. That is according into the noble eightfold path. Okay. Now just relax and smile to all karma. Now we are friends in this samsara. Okay. All forgiveness and just slowly open your eyes and then chanting thanks Buddha. Buddham Salanam Kachami Dhammam Salanam Kachami Sankham Salanam Kachami Satu 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 and smile and we end this session take a break 15 minutes okay satu satu satu